Okay, now it's almost constant flashing ahead. I really don't know if you guys can see this or not, because again, I'm not looking at the viewfinder here. But this is what we're heading back into. This is what we would be camping in tonight. This is that huge storm they're talking about where it could be tornadoes tonight. And it's all the way to my left as well, directly out my window. This is crazy. You guys have to be able to see some of this. I'm sure hoping you guys are picking up on some of this because this is nearly all the way to my left and my right. It's definitely ahead. It's constant. Constant lightning. Ooh, it was a big flash. I don't know if you guys saw that because it was off to the one my left. But this is just, like I said, it's constant. One flash after another. I am really glad that we are not camping tonight. Good choice, Nicole. Again, I don't know how much of this you guys are able to see because I'm not watching my viewfinder, but when I say constant, I mean constant. It's like somebody's setting off a strobe light at a concert or something. That's how constant it is. And sometimes it's brighter than others, but it's definitely all over the place. argue the expense of it or the time it's taken to get off the, the trail for this okay this lightning is constant it is crazy it is all around me it's overhead I don't even know what's going on this is nuts Just saw a streak of lightning directly overhead, uh, over the sunroof. Holy cow. Unfortunately, most of the lightning now seems to be to my left and to my right instead of straight ahead like it was for a little while. Probably because I'm actually in the, th in the storm now. But there's still plenty of flashes up ahead of me. Even though the bulk of it is, like I said, to my left and to my right. bunch of brakes. Yep, that's rain. That's all. Rain we can handle. Okay, I said rain we can handle. This is sheets of rain and wind coming down. I can't see where I'm going. I don't think anyone else can see where they're going either. Some people are trying to get off the freeway. Okay, this is nuts. I can't see much of anything. The rain is so bad. I'm sitting here parked and it's blowing me around. 
I need to find cover or something. There, I just saw a pole go flying across the road. Signs are flying everywhere. Nicole's about to hit this. Again, I'm sitting here and it's blowing me sideways. I'm going to actually turn the corner so I have a smaller profile to the wind here. This is nuts. I can't, it's just blowing all over the place. I'm getting hit with something, debris, I'm assuming. I don't even know. I'm gonna pull off on the side here and put my butt to the wind so at least there's less of me in the wind. This is absolutely crazy. You probably can't see it, but the trees are blowing all over the place here. I'm putting my back to the wind and it's still blowing me forward. This is insane, guys. Just sheets of wind are blowing down the road here. This is crazy. This could be where I have to stop for tonight. I might not even make it to the hotel at this point. I'm just hoping Nicole and the girls get a chance to get off the freeway. Okay, I just talked to Nicole. She and the girls got off the freeway because I called to tell them this wall of water was coming. She said she got off on an exit and she could actually see everyone in front of her hitting their brakes as they ran into this wall of water. But she and the girls are safe for right now. Uh, she only put in a couple gallons of gas. She was almost on empty. So she's going to turn her car off and just kind of sit one exit back behind me. I told her if she needs anything, give me a call. I can come get her. I've got over a quarter tank still. I'm just below half. So, But for right now, I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to stay as warm and safe as possible. And uh, we'll see what happens. If this blows over in 15 minutes or something, or at least gets lighter, we'll head to the hotel. And if not... Like I said, we may be stuck here for the night. We'll just see what happens. Lord knows I've spent worse nights in worse places. <laughs> of course, I was a lot younger. But we've got a heck of a show going on right now. I really wish you guys could see the way that the rain is just cascading down the road. It's crazy. Okay, it's raining. Obviously, there's a little bit of lightning still, um, but I'm about 14 minutes away from the hotel, so I'm trying for it. Uh, I told Nicole I'm gonna go for it. I don't know. She said she's gonna try to start driving too. Hopefully the worst of it is past her as well, or at least that bad bit. Uh, so we're gonna try to go ahead and get to the hotel and we'll see what happens. This lightning's a little distracting, but at least it makes it a little bit easier to see where I'm going. I'm seeing downed signs along the side of the road here, uh, like billboards and stuff like that. I'm not sure if that just happened. I suspect it might have, because I don't remember them from earlier. It looked like there was a chunk missing out of the street sign behind us uh, that I just passed, out of the uh, directional sign, whatever. I can't even talk. Um, Anyway, we're going to try to get to the hotel because it shouldn't be too far. Holy crap. Okay. We're trying to get to the hotel. And they're somewhere behind me by about a minute or so. That actually looks like there's fire over there, guys. I don't know what that is. That big orange glow though that looks like that could be fire I am not sure what's going on right now all I know is I'd rather be inside than outside at least as of this moment that may change uh, so we're gonna try to get to the hotel 
least we'll have some thicker walls between us and all this glass and everything. I'm glad we don't have far to go. Otherwise, I'd do what that truck was doing back there. Just get under the bridge and park there for the night. City of Mazani, huh? Well, this is just rain. I can handle this. Oh, there goes a police car. Something's going on back behind me. Of course, I don't, I don't blame them. I mean, of course something happened. Wow. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. This is pretty crazy though. Keep your distance. I know I've got some people messaging me right now saying, are you guys okay? Are you gonna make it? I don't know guys. I don't know. Uh, I can't really read the messages and I'm definitely not responding. Uh, I'm pretty sure that truck behind me just all of a sudden started blowing its horn. I have no idea why. He's still going, so hopefully he's not in trouble, but there's not much I can do for him right now. That really looks like a beautiful sunset though, doesn't it? So I don't think that is fire. I think that is the last light of day as we head into the dark stormy night. It's a beautiful sunset though. Absolutely beautiful. Hopefully you guys are seeing what I'm trying to show you. I can't tell because, again, I'm not looking at the viewfinder. I am watching the road. Because this is crazy, folks. There is a beautiful night over there. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see back there, back, but back under that overpass there, it looked like a car had actually gone off the road and been blown partway up the embankment. Uh, it is possible he ran off the road and got partway up the embankment, I'm not sure, but it looked like he had gone sideways. There was a, a truck hauling a, a trailer with a boat on it, and the trailer had been blown sideways, it looked like. Um, the truck's rear end was actually kind of kinked sideways. Um, crazy, crazy night. I will be glad to be inside, at least for now. Um, <laughs> I might change my mind if the windows and the walls all blow in and collapse around us or something. <laughs> then I'd probably rather be out here, but for right now, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> Woo! Bring it on, baby! Come on, Storm! <laughs> wow! Guys, this is insane! Got a beautiful sunset one direction. And lightning everywhere else. even into the sunset it looks like and the rain has pretty much stopped for the moment there's tons of people hiding out under the overpasses absolutely crazy Woo! I'm just hoping Nicole's okay I'm gonna stop and fill up with gas because I don't know what it's gonna be like it looks like some people are taking shelter under the gas pumps instead of actually filling up. I'm gonna try to fill up because I don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring. All it takes is one thing to knock out the power. Oh geez, there was lightning right across the, the landscape there. Yep, they're all just parked here. They're not filling up. Anyway, all it takes is one time of um, electricity or something, knock out the power, can't get pumps, can't get gas, can't whatever. Everyone else is hanging out inside in there. This is crazy. Okay guys, uh, every single pump in the gas station was filled up and no one was getting gas. 
They were all sitting inside their cars. A lot of them were inside the gas station. Um, oh, there's Nicole, thank goodness. She's okay with the girls. Uh, anyway, I'll take her car and fill it up as soon as we get to the hotel and I get them inside. But everyone was inside the gas station. There were dogs inside there running around, barking and just going crazy with this storm. It's nuts. It's chaos. This is... We're not very far away from chaos, people. Um, when you Just when you think that we're civilized and we're okay, all it takes is one little Mother Nature hiccup like this and all of a sudden everyone goes nuts and doesn't know what to do. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. The rain seems to have stopped, but what is she doing? The one nice thing about this is there's no one else on the road. <laughs> this is nuts. Nicole took the girls in through the front door. She wasn't going to get gas. I'm going to park. I'll make sure they get in safely and I'm going to go get them some gas. Man, this is pretty awesome now. The wind's picking up, but the rain has stopped. And it's just constant booming and banging and streaks of lightning across the sky. And just gorgeous. This is crazy. This is absolutely insane, guys. And this is supposed to be just the front edge of it. We're supposed to get it all night long and worse. Glad we're at the hotel tonight and I'm glad we're here. Glad we made it up the freeway. Boy, it still looks like it's all on fire back there. That's cool. So apparently as I was walking into the hotel, a few people were talking and uh, a couple of them said that some tornadoes did touch down just south of us here. And when I was asking what the meteorologist said, uh, apparently there was a line of tornadoes that just crossed the freeway right where we were sitting or right where I was sitting. I don't know about Nicole, but it was right through that area. A whole line of them just went right across. So I'm glad we got out of there when we did. Oh, here we go. coming in the area right now. It's time to get my butt inside. Okay. You guys are safe in the bathtub? Yep. Good. We set up our towels. You set up towels? Good. Yeah. Why are you guys in the bathtub? Because there's a tornado alarm. Warning. The tornado warning was just going off. It just ended as I was walking in here. but. Yep. I saw you guys in the pool having fun when I drove by and then the sirens started going off. I thought, I got to get inside and let you guys know to get in yep. cover, quick. We were in cover already, weren't we? Yeah, but I was like, I want to know what's happening, what's happening? Yeah. 